this record's on That's new me. Apple product coming to your wall. Who knows? Newest Seven Eleven owner coming to your corner. Who knows? Grubhub sold for ninety one percent of its value in twenty twenty one. Bond. Who knows? We know you're going to hear it here. And also, we dive deep into the history of the burrito. So if you want to hear that juicy, juicy Josh, keep it right here, Ricker and Vaughn. Bon. <laughs> Did you say juicy, juicy, Jewish? Juicy, juicy Josh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just made that up right now. Pretty sure that's Don't steal it. There's a derivative of some gay slang term. I forget. But it's okay. Like All right. Hey. Nothing wrong with it. No diddy. Right, a little ditty. Yes, ditty. Okay, yes, ditty. Enjoy. The camera look like ass. Oh, caught you off guard. Cold open. Cold open. It's Ricker. It's Bond. I wanted to put up my volume, but then I hear a little bit of stuff to hear, and everybody likes to hear it. Whoa. Caught me with a hard launch. Hard launch. Is that a relationship type of Instagram thing? Yeah, no, that's what the kids say, but I was referring to how we just started out of nowhere, the hard launch of the pod. Welcome to episode 400 of Ricker and Bond, the Ricker and Bond show, the Ricker and Bond pod, whatever the kids are calling it. I can't kind of hear you. Um, like at all, huh? Uh, That was better. Oh, was that like a microphone? It was, I don't know, it, you sounded kind of like low and also cutting out yeah well sometimes that just happens damn Riker and Vaughn episode 400 over four decades of audio <laughs> goodness in your ear that means uh out of 40 years there was 10 episodes per year one episode per year I can does that make sense one episode per year no, My math is off. I don't know. 40 divided by 400. Ricker and Bond. Kind of square root it's getting to be. I don't know. Jesus, someone out there knows. Okay, um, what's going on before we jump into this juicy, juicy news? Oh, uh, just chilling, Max Allen. There's nothing going on. There was, actually was something going on. It was called the Warriors, dude. Clay went back to uh, the Bay, which isn't Oracle, but Chase Stadium anymore. So Clay's going back, and then he's facing Steph. And Draymond, and then it was a big old rigmarole. Dude. Wow! I don't think Clay that sounds. Def, I don't know. You don't think so? You think they're having a little rivalry? I just think I think it was a business deal that went south. And Clay doesn't like the the dubs anymore. I just grabbed you know. He doesn't like winning. Is that what you said? No, no, the Warriors. W, oh. W's. Hey, kitty. Just a little basketball drama, dude. Just a little cheese man, a little gossip. Going on with That's, That's super, super exciting. <laughs> um, yeah, Warriors. What's happening on your side? Uh, Clippers play a little bit. Having on my side, not much. Jay chilling. Just fucking. Doing the damn thing. Um, Bitcoin's going crazy. Wish I had more than I do. But I said this when it was 60000 and I still didn't buy, so I really have no one to blame but myself. So, uh, yeah, here we are. Yeah, 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 Especially with the knowledge that it would go crazy if Trump won, and I still didn't buy. No one to blame but myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... Surprise! Ethereum's not doing great. Well, they're not going crazy, but maybe people finally realize it's a shit network. I kiss an ass and think. It's fucking. <laughs> um, what's going on? Should we just jump into it? Dude, Apple's trying to make a smart home. I mean, what is this, a Disney Channel movie from 2004? Smart Home Challenger? Don't they already have a smart home? Uh, like what? Um, HomePod? Oh, why don't you read the notes first and then... Oh. It's developing a command center that looks like a square iPad, incorporates Siri and Apple intelligence. Uh, I'll get into this later. Uh, it's developing a smart home command center that looks like a square iPad, incorporates Siri and Apple intelligence, 
The device, which could be announced as early as next March, would control appliances, act as an intercom, allow interactions with Siri, and run various Apple News and music apps. Apple's entry would go up with competition, such as Amazon's Echo and Google Alphabet Nest. So it's basically a HomePod with a screen. <laughs> it's so it's an iPad. <laughs> This looks like a square iPad. <laughs> oh, so got it. <laughs> Have you ever used uh, Alexa's um, Echo? Never used Echo, but I've used Google Home and HomePod. With a screen. Have you ever used a HomePod with a screen? A HomePod with a screen? No, but I think I think Echo Echo has one with a screen, and Google has one with a screen. I quite like the Echo. There's also like you can ask it like financial news and it has freaking Schwab network all already on it. Uh, integration with Amazon's kind of whatever. I don't really use that, but I quite, it, it follows you around. It's, you can watch stuff. Do you, the Echo? Do you yeah. watch stuff on Echo? I, it's, you know, if you have it on like a kitchen counter <laughs> and you're doing something on the counter and you're like, hey, uh, Alexa, show me what's going on. Financial news network shows you stuff i feel like the only thing i would use that for is a clock um just photos as well i think i think like reading news i'm just like i'd probably just pull out my phone there's a network it's easy. is this i wonder if this is going to be like a thing you can like put on your wall this apple home thing so it's like a panel on the screen because they already have the home app in ipad os which is kind of like the same thing, so yeah. if they do this, it better be cheap as fuck, because otherwise, just use your iPad. Yeah. Um, I do think it would be implanted on the wall. Uh, I really have to cough. Uh, yeah, I think, it, I think it would be something that would go on the wall. Um, looks like a square iPad, about the size of two iPhones, side by side. Camera at the top, front, rechargeable built-in battery and internal speakers, silver and black. Product has a touch interface that looks like a blend of Apple Watch operating system and the iPhone's recently launched standby mode, which, can you turn that joint off? Because your phone's just always on. Anyways. Yeah, you can turn it off, but it supposedly doesn't use like any battery at all because of the OLED display. It's more just me like not wanting the phone on. Oh, really? I used to hate that about the Apple Watch, but now I like it that it's always on. Um, Apple's already planning a more expensive follow-up version with a robotic limb that can move the screen. So the first one is not going to have a movable screen. Apple plans to market the technology as a home companion with an AI personality. I downloaded oh. it on my phone. iPhone 15 Pro Max. 18.1. Oh, big dick chuck over here. <laughs> I think at first it said beta. Would it still? <coughs> is it possible that it wouldn't be a beta? Do you know? Um, you might. Have you ever in the past signed up for beta updates? That's like a toggle in settings. That's the only reason I would think think why you're on beta. But I think so. there's really no reason to be on beta right now since the software's stable, ish. It was an option in general. Gave me either a 17 or an 18. With Apple Intelligence to download, and this might be other apps as well. But I was on like a Zoom, and boy, gee willikers, that Zoom crashed a lot. That one I won't give to Apple. Let's say that's Zoom, but just a bunch of other things where it has not been a smooth and might I say a buggy experience. It very well could be Apple because um, their process for letting updates into the App Store is rigorous. Um, so a bug like that would have to be fixed fast, but uh, operating system wide, that doesn't surprise me. Was your old phone on beta? I don't, Anything? I don't think I've ever been on beta. There's a possible that in settings, it was like, this is an 18.1 beta, hop on it. Maybe Apple intelligence beta, um, but I, I never put any beta. What am I doing? Uh, would you get a, uh, an Apple Echo? Depends how much it is. If we're like in um, home 
pod mini territory, which is ninety nine bucks. Yeah, I'd grab one. I would I would grab one, but I don't know. I don't know how much this, they got to be careful with this because at some point you're just like I'll just get an iPad. <laughs> yeah, one of the comments I'm reading is yeah, yeah, an iPad I can use from any room in my house. But I will say having a, a HomePod with a screen is kind of cool. Is it gonna have like speakers? You think, or is it just gonna be a screen? Or is it just meant? Yeah, is it just meant to connect to everything? It's, I, it, I think it's basically just like a freaking temperature gauge. That goes I'm just like, uh, I mean, like, yeah, I don't know. Cameras, light bulbs. Uh, I think it. I think it's being marketed for like home control. I see. <clears throat> so it's not exactly an echo. I see. Well, yeah, that's my anything more than a hundred. I probably won't be uh, be grabbing one of those. Apple stock price currently around the range of two twenty eight. It's basically at all time highs. Basically, yeah. Apple intelligence treating you well. I am not on it because I'm not. I haven't had the privilege of purchasing a new phone yet. Good. No. no? It's uh, it, better than ChatGPT. No, and I don't even. I don't think it is a Siri thing. I don't think Siri uses it. Maybe it does, but like it's not giving me ChatGPT responses at all. Well, it's only supposed to do that when the on-device AI can't figure it out. It'll ask you. So, like, if it hasn't been using it, that means it's been doing it itself, which is good. Um, but, like, could you have you ever been like, oh, hey, um, pull up this photo of me and fucking my mom from the mall two years ago? Like, have you tried to ask it something like that? I'm not. I can. Dude, first of all, the, okay. There's a few new animations. Siri animation looks cooler. It's like, uh, it, it does the whole screen. It's probably what Vision Pro looks like. Um, the volume button and the power button does a little animation that like popped in black into the part of the screen, which is a little thing, but it's kind of whatever. Also, but when you do with the volume, the normal gray and white thing still shows up so like you're bumping into that which is kind of i feel like someone would annoy about that um the photos app they kind of killed the interface for me because they show you like the grid of what's recent but then it, like my most clicked thing right after that was the favorites album and they buried that under a couple things and albums i guess people use albums but um at the bottom of it, they do give wallpaper suggestions. That's going to bump GDP, dude. Um, Damn. Show me a picture of me and my dog from January. Uh, you it, have a dog? Yeah. Uh, really? Yeah. <laughs> what? I'll explain this for the listeners, but that's what it gave me. <laughs> that doesn't look like your dog. It looks Wait, like dogs. This, is, this I think this is just Google images. What Wait, let's this? just let's back up. You have a dog. Yeah. Uh, Since it, when? Like uh, 2022, my stepfather died, and he had a dog. Oh. She's a uh, recently made the phone cover. Oh my! That's a cute dog. Very cute. boy girl. It's a girl. Has a vagina. Uh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Or what, what does it identify as? <laughs> Just dog, usually. What if we could ask? I saw a guy yesterday. He looked like a basketball. And I wanted to ask you. Do you identify like a bat? Like a, a basketball? Is that fucked up? How does he look like? Just really round. Bro, he had a fucking a round head. The roundest head you've ever seen. <laughs> An orange beard. And his <laughs> skin was pink. He looked like a... And I was like, nah, that's probably going to be mean. It's not going to call this guy basketball head or something. But I wanted to, like, bounce his head. So, so much. So, yeah, um, Apple Intelligence. Um, that's a cool animation. See, I don't even have that animation. I'm on the 13 Pro, for those wondering. Yeah. 
they're really dialing in these iOS animations. Like, what the fuck? The subtlety of the... Oh, my chase for me. <laughs> That's probably not good. Oh, your card number's hidden. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know if they're allowed to use AI, the engineers at Apple. But I wouldn't be surprised if they're just, like, putting some code into AI and saying, hey, just make this as smooth as fucking possible. Like... Like scan the internet for like the best CSS animations yeah. you can find and 10x that smoothness, and yeah, it's crazy. <clears throat> Is this not Vision Pro ish? Or this? Uh, I don't know. I haven't activated Siri on the Vision Pro. I'll just assume. I don't have a Vision Pro. That's what it looks like. Oh, okay. I've um, yeah, only used it once. Don't need to. Pick... Also, I changed my. Uh... <laughs> My voice on my Siri to an American woman. I know. Whoa! And usually it's an Indian man. Or really? Oh my I got the black guy. I got Jerome. Jerome OS beta. Hey Siri, show me pictures of my dog. <laughs> but then that just pulls up photos. And then if I tried to like do like, hey, GPT me something, it just pulls up GPT. So, I don't... So, can you be like, yo, show me a picture of me fucking i don't know at the beach like you somewhere show me a picture of me at the beach in december it, it shows you web search stuff okay tim craig and whoever else is up there let's step it up guys come <laughs> on how underwhelming I'll stay on the 13 Pro. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, no, dude. The upgrade yeah. cycle has been ruined. <laughs> no, they did say that uh, it was going to roll out slowly. But, like, how slowly is the question? I mean, Apple's slow, which is just apparently not, like, just way too slow to exist anymore. Sometimes never. Sometimes it <laughs> just doesn't come out. ChatGPT is running, like, a freaking kid on Adderall, dude. Um. The ChatGPT is there's a there's you can you can export uh, voice now. You can export a clip of your voice with the thing. Hey, what's going on, Chat? You hear me? Loud and clear. What's up, dude? I was just I'm um, trying to show my buds over here on the internet the new feature you use where you can export a clip. Can you tell me about that and then do it for me? Sure. The feature you're talking about lets you export a short clip of our conversation. Once you select the part you want to share, you can export it as an audio or video file. This is handy for sharing specific moments or highlights from our chat. Would you like to give it a try now? If so, let's pick a part of our conversation to export. Yeah, export the last 10 seconds. I can't directly export clips myself, but you should be able to do it through the app you're using. Look for an option to export or share audio, and you can select the last 10 seconds of our chat. That's cool. That's really cool. I was using ChatGPT, and it pulled up a YouTube video. I was like, that's new. What? Bro, yeah. It, like, I asked it how to do something, and it gave me instructions, and it said, here's a video to, if you want to see it. <laughs> I was like, bro, okay, fuck Google forever. Um, this is really... This is really cool, and I can tell ChatGPT is just getting, or not ChatGPT, fucking OpenAI or Claude or whatever. The AI in general is just getting better at coding by the month. <laughs> like a year ago, it sucked ass and would break everything, and now it's making new files and opening folders and shit. And I'm just like, dog, like let's go kick ass. Let's make some stuff. And Export your voice and then the voice of... Uh the thing you can save it you can play it it's crazy who is real <laughs> are you real am i real also it certainly keeps on going after you lock your phone open ai i know you guys like to listen all right yeah i think that's it's supposed to be like a like a like a thing where like you're on the phone with someone and it's just like always on. Oh, sick. yeah. I think that's what they were going for with advanced voice mode. I tried that for like, I was driving and I was pretending like I was on the phone with someone and we were just talking about shit, just asking you questions. Oh, you know? like I thought you meant you're on the phone with a human and it's 
being producer Jamie. No, no, it's just like and the app is just still running, and it's just, yeah, producer Jamie, dude. <laughs> um, next up, dude, on the list, we either go Seven Eleven or Grubhub to keep it in the restaurant channel. Let's talk about this Grubhub. I've looked Grubhub into it slightly, but apparently died. I, I wasn't really up to up with Grubhub's business, but it's a sold itself to a startup <laughs> which is hilarious uh just eat takeaway which bought the company in 2021 in a deal valued at more than seven billion dollars is selling to wonder which is a food delivery startup led by former walmart executive mark lohr and how much do you think that the 2021 valued grubhub was sold for with seven billion 17 was seven billion in twenty twenty one. Things were pretty inflated. Okay. Values were pretty high. So twenty twenty one? Oh, okay. Um <coughs> eleven. It was sold for one hundred fifty million dollars. What? I would like to say that's less than seven billion dollars. And takes on five hundred million of debt is what Wonder <sighs> will pay and take on. Is the food delivery business that bad? Well, apparently Grubhub <laughs> just uh, whatever they were valuing, not valuable at all. I thought Grubhub was an industry leader in this space. Maybe Who did Postmates sell to, sell to? Didn't Postmates sell to someone? It might have been Grubhub. No, I think it was Uber. Yeah, sell, uh, uh, pull that up. Yeah, it was Uber. Um, in Uber 20, Eats, it became what? Uber Meats or something. What? Um, it was sold. Uber buys Postmates for two point six five billion in twenty twenty. What a deal! Not really though. <laughs> um, grew up a six year old company. Aiming for 100 locations by the end of 2025, the Grubhub acquisition offers the cash delivery drivers and technology to help it do so. Oh, Wonder is six years old. Um, yeah, that's a. I've been blocked by the Wall Street Journal, dude. Racist. Yeah, they don't like your blog, dude. Just because I speak the truth to authority. <laughs> yeah, they they were like, we gotta silence this guy. Oh my goodness! Just because I use all year, I did. I did quite use a uh, one dude's like three articles to talk about asset based loans. But me and Matt are tight, bro. Grubhub. Um. So yeah, basically six hundred fifty million with the debt of five hundred million and a one hundred fifty million price tag. Uh, never heard of Wonder in my life. Me either. You know what's interesting is that I feel like people, even though Postmates no longer exists, people still use that as the verb for getting food. Like, <laughs> okay. Let me Postmate I this. I didn't know it didn't exist anymore. It's just Uber. Oh, I might be wrong. Oh, maybe it does. Oh, I thought they dissolved it, or they just like made it Uber Eats. Um, parent is Uber now. People also ask, is Postmates just Uber? The analysis says... Nothing fast. I thought Google had some AI integration, eh? Did they give up already? Did they cancel it? Like, they cancel everything that's not searching YouTube? <laughs> it, I mean, maybe it's just on the phone. But, uh, uh, okay. You're going good. You got to go good until everything's bad, and then everything goes bad because you haven't done anything that was less than good. They fucking just gave up. to. They just tipped the hat to Microsoft already. It wrecked, bro. Microsoft AI. Sign a deal with Reddit, why don't you? Um, was acquired, Postmates was, and then integrated into Uber Eats platform. By mid-2021, the Postmates fleet app for couriers ceased operations and delivery requests transitioned entirely to the Uber app. As a result, Postmates no longer operates independently. It has been fully absorbed into Uber's deliveries. <laughs> oh, no, no, damn, they ate Postmates. Nope. Never mind. Um... All of your business has been acquired by our businesses. 
Hey, but yo, the power of culture. What are you gonna say? Yo, let me Uber eat something. Well, maybe I guess. Let me Grubhub this. Who the fuck says that? This means was a nice verb. Yeah, it was like chill. It was fine. Atrocious fees though across the board, but we'll give us all your fees. That's crazy, dude. I didn't seven billion to one hundred and fifty. Well, six fifty, six fifty, but a a ninety one percent less valuation. That's almost as bad as Elon Musk taking Twitter from forty four to ten. Hey man, strategic, strategic, uh, strategic world platform for voice. I I guess so, but like to to play devil's advocate here, he says he doesn't care about money when it's not his money that it's being burned. So, um, but also to be fair, he did did win him an election. So. Twitter was notorious for being a bad business in in Wall Street. It was like it should have been just a high, the best valuation thing ever, but apparently it just always sucked with ads. Well, and also they had like eighty percent more employees than they needed because they fired everyone, and it still works fine. <laughs> uh, I definitely, I don't think I always used it a lot, but it, it gets me like a few scrolls, and then. You people do links. Yeah, it's a, there's a couple beheadings, and I did come across a lady being fucked by a dog today. But other than that, it's great. <laughs> I, when I purged my stuff, it was always purged. I did uh, a couple months ago get Musk at the top of my feed, which is annoying because it had nothing to do with anything I wanted. Wait, uh, you mean you mean you don't follow you don't follow Lord <laughs> Musk on X? I I, I, <laughs> I don't think you can unfollow him. It doesn't let you. <laughs> it probably wouldn't. So silly, dude. Just a silly little boy that guy is. Silly man. Um, I think they maybe tinkered that back a little bit. Um, but he, I, my my Twitter's clean, dude. I I get what I want, even on the for you page, usually. Twitter is racist, sexist, homophobic, transphobic, <laughs> all the phobics. <laughs> Apparently, if you just unfollow people and only follow boring stuff, it shows. No, you no, 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 no. I <laughs> built this algorithm. Brick by brick, I'll own it. <laughs> I, mean, I think it, it, it's, it's like once it knows that you won't uh, text mean things to people, it kind of just shows you what you are. I have accepted that it's showing me this because I want it. <laughs> That's what I really want deep down. I just want some things. Dude. I just want people yelling at each other. <laughs> oh, X. Somewhere that says the great reshuffle will be very empowering for polymaths. For what? Who? Polymaths, everybody knows that once you go on Google. It's an individual whose knowledge spans many different subjects, known to draw on complex bodies of knowledge to solve specific things. Anyway, 7-Eleven, dude. 7-Eleven um, is also in the midst of trying to be bought. Currently, 7-Eleven is owned by one and the only Japan. Seven and I Holdings, who received a non-binding buyout proposal from Ito Kogyo. I think the accent was historically correct. You know, the Japanese, they do last name first, family name, and then first name. I pretty much, Amen. I pretty much should be. Dude, I pretty much do the same. Call me Rick or John. Don. Rick or John. Yeah, I got two first names. I got two... First names, a company associated. Um, proposal from Ito Kogyo, a company associated with a founding family member and vice president, Junro Ito. Bloomberg, you heard of this newspaper, reported that the buyout could be worth up to $58 billion with Japan's top banks, Sumitomo, Mitsui, Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi UFJ, and Mizu, in discussions and fund six trillion yen of the financing. Now, what happens with currency is that yen isn't a dollar, so you could have six trillion yen, and it's actually a lower amount in dollars. It's a it's a immutable ledger of sorts. It's a Bitcoin joint. Uh, oh, I see. Billion dollar valuation to buy Seven Eleven from the people, and basically going back to one of the founding family members. Um, the proposal competes with an existing offer from Canada's 
alimenta, alimentation, Kushtard, owner of Circle K. Also from Canada, uh, Lululemon. And uh, I think Keurig might be Canadian. Um, bio proposal would allow 7NI to go private, maintaining current management and avoiding pressure from shareholders and potential asset sell-offs. Kushtard's bid, if successful, would create a global convenience store leader, intensifying competition in Japan's merger and acquisition landscape. Uh, shares went up 12%. <clears throat> I will buy it. <laughs> no, wait, hold on. You got to be both a, uh, a Kushtard and an Itogokyo. You ever been in Japan? No, I have not. I haven't been anywhere in Asia, actually. I feel like I'm missing out on all the fun. Too short. I feel like I'm just like, you go around. to Europe and you're like, okay, this is cool. It's kind of like America, you know? Like, why wow. talk a little different? Personally, you know? been into any of the white parts of Europe? The white parts of Europe. Wow. You haven't? I've been to Spain, which is pretty white, but I'm talking about that Nordic white. Nordic white, like what? Sweden? Is that in Europe? Fucking Norway. Is Norway not? In Europe? I don't fucking know. I didn't go to school. <laughs> fucking, um, yeah. I Gotta know. go there. Gotta go to Africa. Dude, you wanna go to Ghana with me? Yes. When? Just wanna go to Accra. I gotta, I gotta get my shots. Let me know. Uh, do you have to get shots to travel? Do I have what? Do you have to get shots to travel? To Africa, you do. Hey, really? Like legally? Um, yeah. I don't know if it's like illegal to not get shots, but that's a good question. It might be illegal to not get shots. Well, I don't know. Well, but I know you can get sick if you don't. Because they got freaking cool diseases that. Were our American bodies aren't used to. Yeah, they, exactly. Or maybe there's something in the water or something. Let me just chat GPT this real <laughs> quick. Because who the fuck uses Google like a dinosaur? Google got a dog. Do you, is it against the law to not get shots when you go to Africa from America? Ugh. It doesn't typically require vaccinations by U.S. law. However, African countries have their own entry requirements, especially concerning vaccinations like yellow fever. For instance, South Africa mandates a yellow fever vaccination certificate if you're arriving from or transiting through countries with risk of yellow fever transmission. Beyond legal requirements, it's wise to consider vaccinations for diseases prevalent in your destination, such as hepatitis A and B, I got both, and C, typhoid and malaria. Consulting with your healthcare provider before your trip ensures you're up to date with necessary immunizations and you can avoid unexpected souvenirs from your travels. Brought to you by Pfizer. What was the souvenir part? I don't know, I blacked out. Um, <laughs> can help you avoid any expected souvenirs. That's what it said? That's what it says. You must have put on the honey version of ChatGPT. Yeah, we like to have fun over here. <laughs> uh, it's yeah, it's a good time. Across, see some freaking local soccer and a uh, former co-worker. There. Yes, and I will kick off my modeling career in Ghana like I always <laughs> intended. Uh, you, you have to be the darkest of dark. The, uh, African I'm consider light skin over there. Yeah, dude, you might as well. You might as well be a hot. And then I'll go visit my family in Ethiopia, which is, I think, where they're from. Probably not, though. We'll see. The freaking Ghana's cooler, dude. They like oceans. Let's go to the most racist place in the world. South Africa? <laughs> I don't know. What's the chat GBT? Most racist place in the world, scientifically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. World population... High levels of racism, including Lebanon, Bahrain, Libya, and Egypt. Another analysis mm -hmm. includes Israel, Azerbaijan, Romania, Cambodia, San Diego. 
in El Salvador. San Diego, specifically Ricker's house. Oh, <laughs> there seems <laughs> an emanation of just off the charts racism from this one man's house that I think is polluting the entire globe. Uh, yeah. It's crazy <laughs> how much hating can come from one person. This hate is cut off at the source, then the world becomes a less hateful, almost zero hate place if one man dies in the outskirts of San Diego. That's crazy. Um, dude, it's so nasty man. work. <laughs> <laughs> it is a great phrase. It's great, but it feels like I'm, I just, I'm a little bit out of the loop. It's definitely a youth saying. <laughs> but it's really good. It's, There's some good ones. It's like, like nasty. It's like, huh? It's like, like, damn, that's just wild. It, and it's really, but it like, it's funner. I like a good one. I, a good one I like is when they say it's insane. Like doing something is insane. That's a, that's been a thing forever. What do you mean? No, but like, oh, fuck. How do I say? It? Like, let me give you an example. Or maybe you're right. But I don't know. They, 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 it's like said different. Like in a different context. I feel like, like not in the same. Not going insane like you know mentally but it's like fucking insane. like fucking like if you were to say megan the stallion's ass is insane okay it's a tiny bit different a little bit different that's a thing that's been a thing i really i feel like it, uh, what's another one 10 minute break okay. indicate insane's been around for sure like a long time i think it predates us or at least the 2000s, perhaps. But why uh, nasty work is a sick, it's a sick phrase. It's very nice. I also like cooked. It's a good one. Yeah. Or I'm going to put the big homie on you. That that's was old. One. <laughs> that's old. That was um, not young. <laughs> <laughs> what else we got? Uh, what else is that fucking little twerp Nasty say? work. Nasty work is great. Cause it's it's like if someone it's just being out of pocket. I love it when they say, "Oh, cause I'm like that, bro." That's still old. Fucking. You're just naming slang. Yeah, but the kids are saying it is the difference. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. We're just a couple uh, old millennials. <laughs> super old teens. Who's winning the fucking fight tomorrow? <laughs> is is that Tyson Paul? Yeah. Uh, probably just all of us. Why is that at five o'clock on a Friday? Because he's old. What the fuck? Let's make Uh, it like on Saturday. Because people got work. I think we all win seeing Mike Tyson in such good health. Okay, quit that that pussy shit. (laughs) Who's gonna fucking die tomorrow? I don't know. They actually do fight. Paul must die, dude. We got. I know Tyson's old. But uh, that man, I'm pretty sure, like murdered folks. We eat. They each have pros and they each have cons. Flat, like one. we got one is yeah exactly. One's young, one one's is old. one's young and old. One is decades of experience and one doesn't. But one is youth. And one's also like Mike Tyson, but yeah, an elderly Mike Tyson. What if? You just seen his seventies? No, I don't think. I think he's only like fifty-eight. I don't even think he's 60. But that's an old that's old for a boxer, but he is probably the best in shape 58-year-old there is. He fucking know. you know how easy it would be for him to be fat? <laughs> like if he just didn't work out for 2 weeks, he would <laughs> so fucking fat. Oh, there's better swarming on this apparently. <clears throat> to a uh, bet Oh, Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul. Jake Paul? Jake Paul. I just hope it's not a fast fight. Dude. Because I, I dropped six ninety nine on Netflix for this. <laughs> it's on Netflix? It's on Netflix. Can you no that? Exclusively? Yeah. I believe so. Doinks. I don't know if you have to pay for it extra in Netflix, but I don't think so. I, I well, think they should just leave it. Let's turn to one of our favorite publications, The Tennessean, who says... Do you need a Netflix subscription to watch Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul? How to watch Fight. This is by Harrison Campbell. A national nice job, you brookie. Mike Tyson and Jake Paul's heavyweight fight has captured the attention of sports fans uh, across all generations. Sorry. Thanks to its unique broadcast, the fight will be available to fans. Why are you talking like that? What the fuck? Talking like a newscaster. 
Okay, I'm talking like uh, I forgot his name. What's the what's the what's the Fox guy, the white one, uh, who did his Tucker own... Carlson? Yeah, I'm talking like Tucker Carlson. Oh, I mean, I guess I can kind of see it. The four fight card was stri- four fights. What are the other fights? <laughs> Kate I don't know. Taylor, Amando, uh, Amanda Serrano. Whoa! Oh, there's other fights. So there's like fights before. Yeah, four. Oh. three fights before. And the fourth fight will be Mike Tyson versus a kid from Disney. Dude, I but, hope um, Mike Tyson kills him, bro. Um, I do too. But this, I wanted to make a bet with my coworker, and he said I, he would only bet me if he bet on Mike Tyson to win. So I bet on Jake Paul to win, even though I know he's not going to win. But have his other does, fights? Have you even seen any of his other fights? Jake Paul? No, yeah. I haven't seen. I haven't it's even seen any like, of Mike Tyson fights. Yeah, so but I I feel like they've all been realish, but just old versus old people, real fights versus older people. <laughs> Who? Jake? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's faced like <clears throat> like an NFL player. Oh, he hasn't faced like a boxer. I think he has maybe, but they've been old. But maybe even not a boxer. Who was that guy that got killed? Oh, that was fucking the Juju. Been destroyed by uh, uh, the brother, the MMA guy. Yeah, he didn't fa- face. Uh, he faced. What's the other one's Irish, name? The Irish guy, eh? No, no, not the Irish guy. Not Fucking face one of the the brothers from <coughs> Irvine or something. No, nah, it was this fucking. Um, jiu-jitsu guy was talking shit and posted naked photos of his wife on of the the, the paul kid's wife on twitter and shit nice. and he's just talking mad Are shit on twitter? up to the fight and then he got fucking destroyed because oh. he's not a boxer well dude i, I can't a 60 year old six year old <coughs> what are the what are the actual let me see anyways uh you can standard with ads allows subscribers to watch and download content on up to two supported devices in 1080p all mobile games most movies and tv shows are available standard and so i think it's just oh no i'm getting a pizza for this tomorrow fuck uh you you can no you still have to get a netflix subscription um this i wonder something i do like ads there is so there's either standard with ads i think these are just subscriptions uh, probably. I bought an Apple TV subscription to the the MLS playoffs on Apple TV, which is kind of a sign of the time. If I'm buying ten dollars worth of playoff to watch soccer on Apple TV, that's crazy. I think I pay like six bucks to extra to watch the NBA on Amazon. Yeah, I mean that's what we're doing. Huh? Isn't that crazy, dude? I'm fucking paying a bookstore to watch the <laughs> NBA. The fuck, and you're paying okay, a fucking computer company to watch fucking whatever you're watching. Yeah, uh, soccer actually. Oh, no, football. <laughs> Hello, football. That's oh, a good accent, uncultured though. swine. <laughs> See, I like saying football, but oh. this is major league soccer. Uh, I'm going Ooh, back to the roots. Back to the root of what got me into Bitcoin. Nitrogen Sports. They have since changed their URL. But I was just a young kid in college using something called Bitcoin to bet on Japanese baseball. And your boys have the, the, the line, as people will call it. But they can't. I have to sign up. Jeez. Imagine you just stumble on a wallet with just like 17 <laughs> Bitcoin in there. I signed into this right now. <laughs> oh, my God. What would no, that checked. be? That'd no, be I a checked. million. <laughs> I have checked. <laughs> That's crazy. I, I had I did not have prudent risk uh, or portfolio management back in the day. Um, That's fucking nuts. I'm glad I wasn't in a Bitcoin that early because I would have killed myself. I would have <laughs> had like 50 million and I would have sold it all when it was like two dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what happens. Uh, yeah. I guess I'm gonna try to go to DraftKings instead. I have to. You have to sign into any of these things. Funny how betting is just legal now. Lol. Uh, Romeo, Rafa, me. Uh, I guess this might be under MMA. Let me just Jake Paul, Mac Tassin betting line. Um, we're looking at oof. Uh, 
Paul is the favored with a negative 205, uh, which means a pretty heavy, heavy favorite. So if you uh, risk $205, you win 100 And if you risk $100 with Mike Tyson, you get 164 You win 164 So uh, the over-under for total rounds is 5.5. Damn. I don't know how many rounds is in a boxing fight. 12? <laughs> Do people don't believe in Tyson? He is a 60-year-old man. I mean, you have all this hype, right? And this is why we're, Mr. Paul has done well for himself, because he's like, oh, maybe he sucks. Maybe he will lose to a 60-year-old man. But then He is 60, yes. You remember that he's a 31-year-old man who's been boxing and training for about seven or eight years now, or at least a couple years. Versus Mike Tyson's 50 at least. Uh of training of training a 60 year old man but i really <sighs> you, you, you see all those clips of like tyson be like i was afraid of the man i was yeah <laughs> i was a murderer i don't you don't you don't think like because you know i feel like let's say you're boxing like you train hard like pretty pretty fast you realize yo this guy's fucking good i need to step it up or this is going to be an easy fight yeah i i don't i don't feel like fucking mike tyson's like ever felt that and he, i don't feel like he's gonna feel that with jake paul i see he i think he's been training hard i, know I think he needs to hard. knock i think i think tyson needs to knock jake paul out fast because one thing paul does have on fucking tyson. um tyson is probably agility he's probably gonna get tired less fast it's so it's he it's you it's better it's knock that shit out <laughs> and uh, i uh, God, imagine getting fucking hit in the face by Mike Tyson. Sick. He's probably he's probably in the ring and like thinking of himself. What if it's like, what if you just he just underestimated the the sheer power and he dies? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm. I'm not hoping for anybody's death. Me but either. If, oh, what if he's so like funny. in a veg a vegetable state? Not, not funny. Don't want not that. <clears throat> Me but either. There's been so many clips of Tyson, and because we we haven't seen Tyson in his prime, box we haven't seen boxing in his prime. Boxing, you know, Paul Brace basically brought it back a little bit with McGregor. Like back in the day, boxing was like cool, probably just like UFC maybe, uh, but everybody loved boxing. And but there's just so many clips of Paul being like, oh, or Tyson being like, dude, the man I was, I I wish no one ever gets that kind of evil in them. I wanted a murder first. It's just That's funny, cool. just funny thing that I'd be like, I had the capability. And I was sad. And then fuck. What's an exhibition fight? Is that when it's a fight but doesn't count towards your record? Yeah, is that what they did. I don't think this is it, but when fucking um the brother, the older brother, fought um Mayweather, there is a clip going around of them fighting, and fucking Mayweather was fucking getting into it and. The Paul brother, I forgot, what's his fucking name? Logan. Jake. Oh, yeah, Logan Paul started to look scared and was like, yo, it's just an exhibition. Chill out, chill out, chill out. Uh, you know? So I feel like that's going to be the same thing with this. Like, he <clears throat> underestimated the experience and he's just going to. You don't fucking fight Floyd Mayweather. So funny. I'm trying to. Who won that Mayweather thing? Mayweather? Who, who do you think? I mean, I don't know. Um, it says. My Mayweather record. versus Tyson, though. Uh, Mayweather would win. No, oh, they just went to the end, and then no winner was declared. Hello. Really? Yeah, yeah. What? Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. And everyone was giving him props for not getting knocked not out, dying. which was actually, <laughs> yeah, which actually is an accomplishment. It is, but you know, he went, he went easy on him. Yeah. Dang, dude. I'm. You know, I'll that's see. Crazy. Highlights, but. I, I mean, I get, I gotta watch Tyson in the boxing fight. Jesus Christ, dude! I can't wait. I'm gonna get my weed, get my beer. <laughs> fucking, I, I'm, I'm pissed that it's like fucking a New Yorker in 1973. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, I got Not my Netflix work. subscription ready, bro. Six dollars well spent. <laughs> oh, fucking, funny, but the fact that it's so Friday, bro. Like, LA is so bad. Like, all the homies would have to sit. 
and like five hours of traffic for us all to be together. So we can't like go to a bar. I mean, we probably can't, but well, what if you I go don't fucking to know. Uh, one of the new? I can't believe. Okay, one second. Uh, then I brought it up one time, but there's places that you watch. I think it's specifically soccer, but it's like a virtual reality wall, and you're like in the stands. So the wall is like the stadium. Um, I don't is know there that. food? Yeah. Uh, let me see. let me try. And you just watch it, so it's like a sports bar, but with one TV. With a giant virtual immersive reality. It's an I haven't heard of that. Ledger. Uh, I haven't. Anyways. Yeah, uh, you got to see a young young cat has to see a Mike Tyson fight, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I'm almost 65, so yeah. <laughs> Coming off the old shift, cracking open a Coors Light and walk. That's walk. crazy, dude. <laughs> That's a heavy favorite, dude. Negative 205. Now it's crazy. Could I win $20 is what you're saying? I have a chance? Well, first of all, the line that you probably did like 20 to win $20 either way. Whoever wins, wins $20. Yeah, we did the fucking bullshit way. Yeah, so you you should have bet twenty dollars, and he should have got like ten dollars to win. And if you get you bet twenty dollars, you would get like forty dollars to win. Should I have been the bet? Did I fuck myself, Ricker? Wait, you bet on uh, Paul? I bet on, I bet on Paul, oh, <laughs> but I probably, we each stuck. bet twenty bucks. So other other way you. Got a heavy handed bet. You okay? I'm not a better. What does heavy handed mean? Heavy, heavy handed is not even a, be, a betting term. It's just you had uh, <laughs> the weight is in your favor, the scale is in your favor. You should have had less of a winning versus him. Ah, so if he he's betting on an underdog, so he should win more money. Than a, a man who's betting on a favorite who should win less money. But anyways, yeah, that's interesting because we I, thought I was betting on the underdog at the time of the handshake. That's how that's how betting works, and that's how they sucker these cats in. Because like Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson, but then you see the lines, and these and it's also <laughs> kind of fake. I bet like they could. It's just it's not like it's regulated by anything, so they could definitely just fix it. it might be regulated. anything to sell prime. Yeah, I mean, dude, my, lunch family, my family member enjoys Prime as like a sport drink, and I'm like, dude, I know, and they don't dude. understand the gravitas of it. It's like, no, you don't. Don't, don't get me wrong. It tastes good, but it's like does you're it, eating candy. Does it taste it, good? It, it like, it's like super. It's like too sweet for me. No sugar. It's like too but sweet. Fake sugar, or is there sugar added? Ah, uh, I don't know, but it's. I, I know there's no sugar, but it tastes like there's a lot of sugar. Like, it tastes sweeter than Gatorade. Yeah, yeah, no. Like, if I drink half a bottle, my stomach hurts. Yeah, you can't be drinking Prime, dude. Yeah, dude. It's, it's like drinking a Coca-Cola. Bro, it might be sweeter than Coca-Cola. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, 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 there's like a sports electrolyte one. Or they yeah, I don't know if I tried that one. I tried the <laughs> lemon one. I tried the lemon one. I also tried a Mr. Beast bar. Yeah, because <laughs> they said it's the best chocolate in the world. Yeah. Pretty good. While we're on the topic, I went to Dobrik's for the Rick's Pizza Place. Oh, really? Okay. First, are you there? Are yeah, you you're cutting up a lot, but you're almost back. <clears throat> are you there? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Hi. Oh, uh, while we're on fucking influencer products, Dobrik, you know, Dobrik's. I'm a pizza man. I rate fucking pizza, dude. I rate pizza. David like Dobrik. Partner, dude. Okay, so I went to fucking the place and it looked looked kind of run down to be honest. Yeah. Empty. Yeah. But it was also late at night. Got the pizza. Didn't look too appetizing. It's fucking delicious. Like, it's actually good. I was eating this. I was like, God damn, this is good pizza. Hmm. It, but then you look behind you at the fucking place. And I'm like, bro, this place is going to be closed in a year. <laughs> yeah. But it tastes good. 
Tastes good. And like people would like, there were some customers that would come and they were like taking pictures of the fucking sign and shit. Yeah. Because they're probably from out of town. Yeah. But like, it didn't look like business was booming like it was earlier. But I was like, bro, like I expected this to be some ass pizza, but it was fucking good. Like did top. You a, did you get three, a slice? Maybe. I got two slices of slices. different flavors. And are you a, like, what's your pizza slice preference? Do you like a nice crisp on it? Do you like a, a crunch? I'm not a fucking pizza Nazi. I like it all, but I like a crunchy pizza. This was like a fucking. Have you ever, I don't know if you've heard of Prince Street pizza. They have. I haven't had it. <clears throat> it's it looks like Prince Street, and I expected it to taste like it too, but it tasted like better. Like like the flavor changed in okay. your mouth. <laughs> I was like, bro, okay, they put some time into this product. The Willy Wonka. Dude. Yeah. So yeah, I was like. Dude, this is fucking, this is good. Good job, David Dobrik, on that. I don't know. I don't know how long the brand will be alive, but it's in- fire. Try it if you're in the area. So Prince Street, I think there's a Prince Street that's actually in San Diego. Um, but I haven't tried it. What's what's the Prince Street slice like? Prince Street is like a fucking, I guess they, like, where is Prince Street from? They say they're from new york but it's not new york style pizza at all it's like almost a, like fucking it's not even deep it, dish but it's like crispy like square pizza with, okay. it's really greasy on top it's the greasy ass like pepperoni with the fucking pool of grease in the pepperonis it's like that oh, um ice that's what i like yeah i my damn dude don't fix this fire <laughs> fuck <laughs> just heartbroken when it closes bro it's gonna close like there's a, uh, you know the rent there is fire. <laughs> probably, probably crazy, dude. He's got it, but he'd probably just get bored of it. It wasn't that. It, dude. He'd probably sell it to some PE. I don't know. He should have not made it like, oh, I guess he had to, like his face on the brand, because didn't he get canceled for some shit? Yeah, it's probably over now. He get canceled a couple years ago. You, you lay low, make a pizza shop, and then uh, you pop back out. Apparently his friend, um, is his friend's a blonde chick. I thought he was rich. Apparently she made sixty million on OnlyFans in the past few years, and now she's retiring. Good for her. Yeah, literally just like dipping. <clears throat> That's chill. You do have a lot of years left to live as a young female. I would probably. I wonder if she's gonna regret that when she's like forty-five. Yeah, you will, but. I mean, but it's like the money, you know, like, yeah, yeah. I think, I think the, I, I don't know. There's probably lots of reasons to regret, but probably the biggest yeah. is like your, your wings out all in there, your wings out for years, but you get 60 mil. Your kids see it one day. They're like at school and someone's like, Hey, here's your mom getting fucked by a black guy. Yeah. I don't know if she did penetration content, but you know, a friend told me like she did some, Just the friend being me. Just- um, <laughs> Just all long break pictures. Yeah, but shit. Good okay. for her. Um, there was uh, a supplantation dupe, as they call it in the industry, in fashion or whatever, but they said dupe as well. Up in, uh, I think like Anaheim, but it's a, a supplantation, rest in peace, although I think Sweet Tomatoes is back in Tucson. Uh, that exists. Supplantation was dope. Uh, and uh, people be touching other people's food now in line. We're back. Dude. COVID's over, dude. Ew. It's a little bit gross, but soup plantation. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm de- for some dirty salad, bro. <laughs> dude, it's so good. It was so good. I probably uh, you probably never see it the same. Although I've been to Shakey's, dude. dude. No, what <laughs> Shakey? It's like a pizza place with a salad bar. I went there for some nostalgia reasons. Horrible. Don't go. Uh, uh, yeah. My shakies might have been like a round table pizza. I fuck a round table. Yeah, if I that's... eat it like more than once a year, that would taste bad. You have it now? Wow. Uh, yeah, actually, my it's my parents' pizza place of choice. So when they order pizza, it's round table. <laughs> they, have a, they have a good, like, I'm not super into, like, all vegetable pizzas, yeah. but they have a good vegetable pizza. Round table. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm thinking of another one besides round table. But it was like it was like nights, right? They had nights as their yeah. brand. Yeah. Okay. They rebranded. They're definitely up there in the 
when they're running for greasiest pizza as well. That was like a that was like a me eight year old going to a place though. Yeah, that was like where you go after you win a soccer game. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't believe you buy pizza from there. Yeah, I, uh, bro, I went, I went to high school in the, <laughs> in the, um, where I went to high school in the cafeteria, the pizza they served was directly from Round Table. <laughs> That's so day. sick, dude. Yeah, I know, bro, it was for the first two weeks, and uh, then you're just like, Ugh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, the smell of it made you. Be sick. Yeah, dude, uh, you're just like wow, cheese and pepperoni again. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Round Table uh, was founded in 1959 in Menlo Park. Shout out! It's a uh, CEO is Paul D'Amico. Over 400 locations, two formats: Damn. traditional Round Table Pizza Restaurant, and then a new format: Round Table Pizza Clubhouse Pizza Pub Play. Features expanded entertainment with arcade games, big screen TVs, sports, and craft beer. <laughs> we got to go to round table. Thoughts on um, Papa John's? I don't know if I've had it once. Um, I saw it in Everyone a hates on it, but I like it. Uh, saw it in a Target. Uh, Shaq Target. <laughs> is a minority owner, I believe. Maybe even. He is, oh, yes. Probably not majority, but he... You know, Shaq owns about 80% of all brands in America. <laughs> yeah, he's he's up there. Is he a billionaire yet? Ah, let's see Probably what not. the Probably. internet says. <laughs> uh, it says 500 mil, but I'm sure he's tucked away and quiet. Probably. He's probably chilling. Um, he's on, he has his own bar chart, which is... Oh, that's just a site. Um, new... Development in everybody's favorite stock to look at Chipotle as a new CEO. Uh, he was formerly the interim CEO after the other CEO left for Starbucks because Starbucks is going down the drain. Um, stock wise, it is not doing great. But uh, you know, now you got your boy in, Mr. Boatwright. Mr. Boatwright. Boat? I like boats. But yeah, yeah, go, go boats, go boats. Um, Mr. Boatwright was the COO of Chipotle. Um, he's also, I think, at Arby's. Pretty sick. Um, and he's like, yo, I'm not going to touch anything. We're doing sick. We're doing good. Uh, we're just going to get this avocado tables. We're going to get them cutting up, dude. A little automation. How is their stock doing? Starbucks stock, not doing great. For a while now. Uh, <clears throat> Damn, that's crazy because they keep raising their prices. <laughs> I'm a... still going every day, so <laughs> it is wild. What's going on? How much of a habit that uh, Starbucks consumers have? I uh, need that shit. Since 2020, it's down 20 percent. Uh, Why? Well, according what to what the fuck are they doing wrong? Financies. Um, Net margin has been stagnant for the past two years at 10%. Well, there you go. <laughs> and stagnation. New leadership needed. Now. <laughs> Bring so, them in. so uh, a friend of the pod brought up a nice theory that the Starbucks consumer, although there is, might be room to argue is largely in an adulterated consumer where it's a lot of people buying sugar, sugary stuff and the sugary coffee drinkers might be not as addicted or habitual to the Starbucks brand. What say you? What? Where else are you going to go? Well, you could go to um, everybody's favorite Arizona coffee place that i remember the name of and that you do as well dutch bros which is public um uh there ain't no dutch bros in la yeah i know i know, um, I know of. but you know if you're buying sugary drinks you might uh you not be uh, as disciplined with your coffee intake perhaps 
Starbucks's biggest advantage is that there's one on every corner in every city. Yeah, a lot. Not really. So it's like you literally don't have to think about where's Starbucks. It's like, bro, walk 15 feet in any direction and you'll, Cedar you'll make Rapids. it there. Maybe they just need to put more sugar. They do. <laughs> That's what In they're my, in my like morning low key trying coffee, to do. double it <laughs> <laughs> and um, make it snappy. Raise prices more. It is a file. I mean, I go to like smaller places that are like six bucks, sixty. Look at this fucking guy. <laughs> Look at Uh, small I mean, business, I, small I business mean, supporter over here. they have a nice canned cold brew, dude. Two hundred twenty milligrams, perhaps. I like a cold brew. I go in. They have a fridge. I get a can, and. I, I think I used up all my free ones now. I racked up a bunch of free points. For a while, I was getting free product. Um, revenue by source. North Nasty. America International. Channel Development Corporate and Other. China. EMEA. $36 billion for the last year. $26 billion came from its highest performing source, North America. Shout out, dude. Um, it's not telling me their breakdown of revenue, which I like to see. What makes Anything that? I share that with us, with the uh, uh, just anybody like you? Yeah, I'm oh. a potential shareholder. And if I don't get value from your brand, dude, Where are we looking at Chipotle? huh? Where are you looking at Chipotle? Uh, stock wise, yeah, right now. What? I was looking at Starbucks. Oh, okay. Starbucks Well. first. Uh, I was looking at Starbucks right now. I did want to see CMG. CMG is freaking. Uh, I mean, might as well be at an all time high. Compared, let's just say to twenty twenty with Starbucks to keep it one hundred, as Drake said in the game song. Uh, it's up. Damn, that's the reason why the game wasn't invited to the pop out. Yeah, you know, whatever. Yeah, you're choosing sides. Well, well, well. Where's this Kendrick uh, album, by the way? Chipotle is sixty percent up from twenty twenty. Not the damn. Why are they changing CEOs? Then it sounds like the old one's doing a good job. Uh, I think that's <coughs> that's why I think he left because he was like, I'm. I think we're chilling, dude. I think I've maxed out all the value also, I can pull out of an Americanized burrito. <laughs> it's a bowl, okay? You get it from a, a burrito from Chipotle. It's a you're you're on a little bit of a wild one. I'm a bowl man myself, but I feel like they What's sell going? more burritos. Well, let's try to see. Oh God, let's do it. <laughs> I love I love looking up Chipotle like business operations. <laughs> it's so fun, dude. Um, mm. their performance freaking steady growth from 2020 for net margin we're talking 5% 8% 10% 12% Wall Street loves growth like they love their wives no cheating on Wall Street um, yeah they don't cheat ever definitely. 100% <laughs> oh, I thought They had more money from delivery, but uh, it was in the millions, not the billions. Uh, rising profits, just keeping that premium bowl price. No one cares. It's pretty good. Um, but their their new CEO did take a comparatively a cut from the last CEO in terms of their price. Um, hmm. Yeah. Well, he better, he has to earn it. <laughs> You're not just going to wipe away all the hard work that the old CEO did. You got to earn that shit. I, I do wonder if there's some incentives because, like, if pulling the, the Disney stock does go down, you've had four years of profit rises. Um, he's making valued less than half than his predecessor. Good. Should be less than that. <laughs> That's what Disney should have did. Right. Instead of paying that guy all that money to fucking erase all of Bob Iger's hard work. Is it wrecked? 
Um, so no wonder Mickey Mouse shot himself in the barn. When you're going into Chipotle, you're going into a, a ship ran by Scott Boatwright. And we'll see what happens with those avocados. But well, Senor Boatwright to you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Authentic right. Mexican Chipotle. food. Because nothing's more Mexican than chicken and rice, huh? How come? I don't know. People be hating on Chipotle, saying right. it's like awesome. Fucking oh, chicken it's fucking rice. chicken rice and beans. It's, it's great. Yeah, it's, I'm just like they're just like oh, it's fucking uh, appropriation. Like literally, what you just said. It's chicken rice and beans. Anybody thinks any part of that besides the name, or any part of the brand value comes from the Mexican part of it. I guess maybe from like bumpkins in the Midwest. <laughs> they see a well, isn't it called Chipotle Mexican Grill? It is, it is called Chipotle Mexican Grill. And I was about to say none of the brand value comes from that word. But that being said, a burrito could be quite foreign to someone from Indiana. Yeah. Um, like, my coworker said burritos aren't even Mexican. They're American. I'm they're San Francisco, dude. Really? Yeah. I, a certain part, I did do a deep dive into, into the, uh, to the burrito but it was in part of the mission district um <clears throat> i think there was other stuff that... well, was it still created by people who spoke spanish oh i'm, I'm sure it was a mexican dude yeah oh okay well then well maybe it was mexico back then <laughs> <laughs> uh no so. it's like a pretty modern uh thing let me see if i can do a quick it says on ChatGPT. Oh, it's, ChatGPT says they were invented in Mexico in the northern region, where flour tortillas are more common than corn. While there's debate on the exact origin story, many believe that the modern burrito or merge emerged in Ciudad Juarez in the 20th century. The tale goes that a food vendor named Juan Mendez used to wrap his food in large flour tortillas to keep them warm, creating an early version of the burrito. The name burrito meaning little donkey in Spanish. <laughs> supposedly comes from the way oh is that why they say burro it comes from the way the tortilla wraps resembles the packs or blankets dock donkeys would carry burritos became popular in the think, u.s in the 50s i think those burritos were smaller so what was made in the 1960s in the mission district was the mission style burrito which is categorized as uh it's larger an inclusion of rice and other ingredients so whoever invented the breakfast burrito was really on to something. I am a fan. Uh, it also precedes the California burrito, which was developed in the 1980s in San Diego and contains carne asada, cheese, and french fried potatoes. I am surprised Chipotle hasn't implemented a breakfast menu yet. Some eggs? You know how you hard gotta, that would go? Bro, some eggs, bro? Too, way too much. Way too many. <laughs> you gotta crack them. You gotta keep them. Cold. Bro, you know how fast Profit eggs cook, bro? Plummet. It cooks faster than chicken. Profits plummet, dude. Both bro, guys, eggs are cheap, bro. Right, would be kicked out once the Q fork pops in, dude. You can get a hundred eggs for cheap, dog. <laughs> Just wholesale that shit, bro. So, uh, El Fado, which is uh, a place in San Francisco, and potentially the originator of the San Francisco mission style super burrito in September 26, 1961. Had a uh, like a, a a soccer team, and there's a there's a tournament where professional soccer leagues just play like any rinky dink club that uh, qualifies, and they their club freaking almost went kind of far. So that's pretty cool. If there's one thing you learn on Rinker and Bond, it's the history of burritos. Dude, I want to fucking. Thanks burrito. for listening. Thanks for listening, everybody. Make sure you vote. No oh, wait. Oh fuck, who won? <laughs>
<laughs> intro. Uh